Okay. So now your parents got divorced when you were three. Yeah. Talk about that. You know, my parents had a really bad divorce. I don't know if there's I good ones. I don't know. <laughs> there are. Well, there, look, my kids were both two when I separated from each of their dads. Okay. And so I w- wanted to talk to you about it because I was 16 when my parents divorced. Mm-hmm. Like, I was totally aware really of everything. Different. But at the same time, I was like, whatever. Like, I'm all about me right now and I don't care. I always, my kids seem pretty well adjusted. Mm-hmm. And at two, they don't remember much about when their dads were living in the house with us, mm-hmm. either of them. So at three, like, I, I know it was bad. And maybe it was bad as you were three to four, four to five. I don't know. But tell us about how you feel about divorce as the child of a divorced parent. I have a lot of opinions on it. I, I don't think that divorcing your child's parent is the thing that f***s them up. I think it's the way you do it. And my parents, my mom didn't want to get divorced. Okay. My mom was with the love of her life, my dad. Right. And they had three babies under the age of five. Right. And she really just loved their life together. And he was working really hard. And um, and so obviously he's busy and everything. But essentially, and it's not like my story to tell because it's his relationship, but he was having an affair and then he left to be with that person. And the way that- Was it, that the Hadid mom? No. Or was there somebody in Linda, between? Okay. Linda Thompson Jenner. Okay, I got it. I was reading the chart incorrectly. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> she was married to Bruce Jenner. They yes. got divorced. We went to preschool with her kids, and my dad and her fell for each other, had an affair for a disputed amount of time, and got together. By the way, listeners, uh, preschool, breeding ground for yeah, extramarital affairs. Yeah, for sure is. I know. I mean, it's just there's so much hotness at the preschool parent <laughs> things. You know, once by the time you're in elementary school, everyone's tired and haggard and aging. Preschool... <laughs> Is uh, where it's at. Okay, it's so sorry. True. Go you ahead. Can follow your spouse to the preschool <laughs> yeah. drop off. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where it started. I don't know as a kid, but um, we did not have a good relationship with our stepmom, right? Who ended our parents' relationship. Um, and it, and how were you? Were you aware of this when you were a little girl? Yeah, I was very, very, very aware of it. And I was, was that... very aware of a lot of the elements that I wish I hadn't been. And these are the things that I think. For a kid who's going through divorce, what you should not do. Right. Um, Don't let them know how much you hate their other parent. Yes. Don't let them know how heartbroken and sad you are by their other parent. Um, There's a there's a immediate skipping of like an innocence where you feel responsible to fix everything and to take care of your wounded parent and to maybe be on the same side of them against the wounder. Yeah, I think you feel guilty if you had fun at dad's Mm -hmm. and you feel like you can't even mention your mom's name because the other household doesn't want to hear it. Right. And it's like you're, you know, when my, when my dad would clearly, my dad was careful to not ever speak badly about my mom. I just could tell he would like roll his eyes internally at things and, and he had to deal with her because of me. Right. So I felt guilty that I was the reason he had to deal with her, talk to her. You know, in his mind, he like dumped someone and wanted to like not have to deal with them ever again. Right. But he had to because I was there. Right. So you start to feel this like apologetic thing of I'm half the person you can't stand. Right. We talk about that all the time on the show, how people feels personal. Yes. Really injure their kids by doing that. I had not heard that part of it yet because I really do believe. And again, we're a generation or two kind of past that, people are so much more aware of that and, you know, in tune with what not to do. 